place to identify a station is by the quilts and also the symbols on rocks. Hello, everyone. Please take a seat. Sit down over there. You can't fit on this one. Go ahead and go on over to the other beds. Now. My name is Ela, and this is my wife, Catherine. We're the Coffins. Welcome to our lovely home. You see, these aren't just ordinary beds that you're sitting on. They are special beds. Under every single bed, there's a compartment where you can hide if any slave catchers come and try to find you. Now, these people all look starving, Catherine. Why don't you go get them a decent meal? All right, now these stations are very... I, I think I... Make it to the north. Right. Now we're about to approach our first station right on the left. It's called the coffee house because it's a nice family in the coffee. I'm crying. Like now, several ways to identify a station is by the quilts and also the symbols on rocks. Hello, everyone. Please take a seat. Sit down over there. You can't fit on this one. Go ahead and go on over to the other beds. My name is Ela, and this is my wife, Catherine. We're the Coffins. Welcome to our lovely home. You see, these aren't just ordinary beds that you're sitting on. They are special beds. Under every single bed, there's a compartment where you can hide if any slave catchers come and try to find you. Now, these people all look starving, Catherine. Why don't you go get them a decent meal? All right, now these stations are very... I, I think I see a slave catcher. Oh, under everyone, the bed, under the bed, everyone, under the bed. Get under the bed, go under the bed. Under the bed. I think we're still waiting on some people. Oh my god. This is our shot. These two eat too much cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, hush up, gather around. Really? She can't walk very fast. Okay. Now, <laughs> what do we, do? we have two choices. We leave her behind them, let her die. Yep. Or <laughs> we take her with us, but we will be slower. She's just, gonna slow us down. She's just gonna slow us down. Just dump her in the ditch. What's your decision? Raise <laughs> your hand if you want to save her. No. We're gonna kill people. We're gonna kill her. Come on. We're gonna leave her behind. Come on. Come on. You don't want to see this. Let's go. We can't leave any witnesses behind. Let's go. Let's go. Don't look back. Uh, could we tag along with y'all? We have no idea where we're going. 
Alright, we we'll have to make another decision. Alright. It's a few more and it's a... Look how scrawny he is. <laughs> I don't know. Not going they could you know be what slaves. happens if we leave people behind? Do you really want to do that again? They could rat no. on us. They yeah, could they rat could. us out. So, How just know? kill them. Oh. <laughs> Raise your hand. Go to save them. They're going to die. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, keep walking. Oh. Let's go, Don't cover your hands, children. Oh. Look at you kids these days, killing black people. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Are y'all on this point? It's the road to the north. Right up beyond this canyon. Look for a white man with a pointy hat. Abraham Lincoln. He will save you. Enough. So, in all seriousness, this is, you know, the closest that we can get to try to give you some idea of what this would have been like, but we can in no way truly recreate. You know, those feelings you have where you don't know what's going on. Why are we pulling you out of class? Where are we going? You know, those intensified were what the slaves had to deal with. They had to think about, you know, do I trust this person who's saying, come with me? Are they really taking me to the north? Or are they taking me to another plantation? Do they have some other motive? You know, these places that I'm staying, how do I know that these people aren't just keeping me in this house long enough to turn me into my master? to get the money, to get the reward for me. They didn't know this, they just had to trust. But that was the desperate situation they were in. Imagine what a person would have to go through to be willing to trust someone that much to go on this kind of journey. Especially, think about the slaves that had to come from Louisiana, the far south, Alabama, to get that far up to the north. It was a long way and you know, we kinda, you kinda laughed about some of the things along the way, but that is what happened. People fell behind, people got injured, and they could not be left. Not only because they could reveal information about the Underground Railroad, but also they were a liability in morale. If people, if other slaves saw slaves returning to the plantation, they would lose heart and they would say, I'm not going. I'm just going to end up back here. Why should I waste my time? So often the conductors, Harriet Tubman herself, carried a shotgun and said, you turn around, I will shoot you because she was that serious, it meant that much. So, you know, we can't truly recreate what that was like, but we hope we gave you a little taste of uh, that experience today. So thank you for coming with us. We're gonna go back around this way, up through the bus canopy, and back to uh, Wagner. Why did we have to run? Those were slave pictures. Okay. 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 We take her with us, but we will be slower. But She's just going to slow us down. Who are you? Our conductor was snatched by the kidnappers. Uh, could we tag along with y'all? We have no idea where we're going. All right. We'll right. have to make another decision. All right. It's a few more, and it's a... Look how scrawny he is. 